Hey guys, Tfisher88 here with another figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at a monster from the original Ultraman series, and here he is. Jamila. So yeah, we'll be looking at Jamila today. Now this figure was released in 2001, part of the EX line of Ultra Monsters by Bandai. And yeah, so real quick, we'll look at his tag. So here's his tag, Ultra Monster series, there's Ultraman, nice shot of the suit right there, he is EX, there's some stats, he's apparently 50 meters tall, open it up, just numbers and whatnot, EX, all that good stuff, EX, 2001 products, and yeah, so there's Jamila's tag. As for articulation, since he's a humanoid figure, you'd think that he'd have the basic three points. Well, out of those three points, he has two. The arms rotate like that. They don't rotate 360 because the body gets in the way. The waist is a glue seal, unfortunately. Now, there's a newer issue of this figure, which was part of the newer EX line. And that figure apparently does not have a glue seal, whereas this one does. Oh well, that's not really a big deal. Why would you want to rotate the waist anyway? Eh. So yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at his detail. Now, detail on Jamila is pretty nice. Here's his face. Looks nice. You can see he has a beard. Which is a nice feature that they added in. Now, some of the teeth are actually individually sculpted. You can see he's got wrinkles and everything. Ridges on all over his body. His body is covered in cracks, as you can see. His hands. This this is a real nice feature. They have the holes where the actor could see out of the suit, which was a pretty nice touch, I would say. His back. Loaded in cracks and crevices and everything. Yeah, the figure really has the guy in suit look. Feet look good. And all together, the detail is really nice. The cracks um, make it look really accurate. And the face is really nicely done. Love the face. So yeah. All in all, the detail on Jamila is really nicely done. Very nice. So yeah. Alright, so real quick, let's go ahead and do scaling. We'll go ahead and bring out good old Ultraman. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would say that this is accurate. Jamila may need to be a bit taller, but eh, this does look really good. For once, Ultraman isn't taller than this monster, which is good, because the Ultras usually tower the monsters. So, yeah. One other thing to note about Jamila is that he, if you put him in the right position, and well, even if you have his arms outstretched, outstretched, he always looks like he's going to give someone a hug. So. You could have him give you know have him give Ultraman a hug, yeah. And darn. Oh well. Let's go ahead and get Ultraman out of here. All right. So let's move on to history. Like I said, he originally appeared in the original Ultraman, and he was originally an astronaut that was launched into space and underwent a mutation, causing him to turn into this. Well, he came back to Earth and started wreaking havoc until Ultraman came and began to fight him. Now, apparently, this guy's weakness is water, and Ultraman used that to his advantage when he used a water attack, which ultimately destroyed Jamila. And it's actually pretty sad, honestly, because you feel for the monster, uh, seeing as though that it was a person at one time. So I guess monsters do have feelings after all, huh? Now, after that, we didn't see him until Ultraman powered, but I'm not going to go into that because it's kind of a different looking Jamila. So, one other thing, this guy um, can fire, you know, fire. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah, one other thing, paint job. Before I forget, anyway, he's molded out of this creamy gray color with some more with some brownish highlights here and there on the body. The mouth is red. The teeth are a uh, creamy yellow. 
eyes are black with white pupils. And right there on the place where the holes are, where the actor could see out, there's a highlight of really light blue, sort of a baby blue. It's kind of odd, and he didn't really have that, but it kind of gives it a little bit more color. Oh yeah, and the claws are a creamy white color, so that's used on a lot of monsters. So yeah. Anyway, Jamila is a pretty nice figure. Two points of articulation, one glue seal. Our detail is really nicely done. Paint job is pretty good, and scaling looks really good. So, in the end, I'd say pick it up if you can. He's gotten a little harder to find over the years, but, eh. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this figure review, and until next time, I'll see ya. Ultraman, give me a hug. I'll give you a hug with my fists. Yeah!